Hey guys, it's Dunstan. Uh, I'm just about to fly out of one of my favorite airports. You probably know where this is. And uh, I wanted to record a quick video because I'm feeling inspired. And you know how like, you know how in life sometimes you look back on people that have really touched your life in, in some way. And you know, I, I want to celebrate um, someone who, who really <laughs> is like one of the most unusual people I've ever met. And it was my coach, one of my coaches, when I, when I was lucky enough to row at Cambridge. And his name's Donald. And he's, I just like, you know, just looking back, the, the rowing was great. And the result, we got some great results at the end of it. And, you know, Donald's been coaching for 50 years at Cambridge and he's helped like all different crews across that time like you know I was probably like I guess that was probably about 22 years ago for me and um, I'm just sort of thinking about what was it that what was it that inspired me so much what was it about him that that made such a big difference to me and and why do I you know people always talk about like favorite teachers and stuff from school but why do I look back and and feel gratitude to that man who was my rowing coach for like you know he's one of my coaches for a couple of years and I was in a squad of like 20 or 30 people so what was it that made a difference to me um, <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you a little story let me let me find a good spot to tell you the story it involves a bit of swearing, so it might go a bit less less public. But the, the way it works at Cambridge with the squad is, you know, they start off with 30 people and then they're going to whittle it down. So by the end of it, there's eight people in the blue boat, eight people in the Goldie crew, the reserve crew. And then there's a couple of guys who are called the spare men. And in 97, I got to be one of those spare men. Um, you know, and we went on to do other stuff, but that, that's for the boat race, that's the main focus, right? So anyway, <laughs> the way it works is, there was a really strong focus on technique, and of course, a strong focus on, on fitness and, and resilience. And so, the way it worked was, you'd be rowing along, and the coaches would, would normally prioritize the, um, you know the blue boat the guys that are going to be doing battle with oxford but there was also like a real a real thing of like everybody in the squad got coaching everybody in the squad got some input and so i was rowing along in a pair like i was in a four there were four of us and it was kind of four guys in the squad and we all sort of got the feeling like we were about to be cut from the squad. We all sort of knew that we weren't the fittest, we weren't the t most proficient, you know, we weren't the chosen few at the time. And we called it the doomsday four, right? So it's kind of a bit demotivating because you go out and you're sort of going and training and it's cold and you forget that you're, you've got this amazing opportunity to go out <laughs> rowing with great coaches. Anyway, so Donald, Donald rode up, drove up in the launch from behind and you know, you often get really cool technical things from the coach and they say, yeah, you're doing it or you want to put the blade in the water in a different way or whatever. And, and Donald was like, my, my nickname was Gunslinger. So he's going, Gunslinger, you're rowing like a fucking wanker. And he was probably right. But I was like, you know, I was like, oh, but where's my technical coaching, blah, blah, blah. And he didn't even wait to see what happened. He just gunned the launch and <laughs> drove off. But there was something in that. Something happened. Like, he's like a wizard. Like, he'd often just, like, yell something that seemed irrelevant. But suddenly the boat started to move better. Suddenly I started to feel like I was moving the boat better. And so this is the kind of enigma that was being coached by Donald. And... One of the things I really appreciate about Donald is that he was never afraid to really speak his mind. He was more passionate about getting the result of me being the best I could be at rowing than he was about being liked. He didn't care about, he didn't, he didn't, you know, he wasn't trying to please the athletes. He wasn't trying to be liked. He was just himself. And 
you know, now, if, if you talk to Donald, he is so, he's dedicated his life to rowing and, and Cambridge and coaching. And he has such an amazing memory for facts. And he remembers so many of the details from, you know, from, 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 from my, my crew, my squad. But, you know, I think about all those people over those 50 years. He's like, cares so much. And, and it's really amazing to to hang out with someone that cares so much about what they're doing and, and has that, that passion and commitment. So, you know, even though he came across as kind of not giving a shit whether you liked him or not, which was great, he also actually really cared. And, and, and you know, you, you can tell if you talk with Donald now, it's like, you know, he's, um, you know, just such a great sense of humor. And um, not always politically correct, but hey, you know, the, the, it, it, it's kind of like this thing about to be good you know if you're really good and you're really an individual you're going to piss some people off and it's kind of like a sign that that you're doing something right I think if you're really being yourself um, so you know what do I take from being coached by Donald how does that inspire me as a coach well it inspires me to really speak my mind and, and you know if I can see something from a position of a coach that I can that I can share with someone I'm coaching, then I'm going to share it. And sometimes it's a place for being really blunt and <laughs> you know just being really real. And I I love that and it, it inspires me to, to 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 you know to give the home truths, not hold back for fear of you know. You know, like, I just find it so refreshing to be around people that really speak their mind. And, and yeah, so much, so much gratitude for that. And, and I, I, you know, it inspires me to do the same. So uh, I hope I get to catch up with Donald again sometime soon. Um, I'm really interested to hear, you know, that was my, one of my memories of, of Donald and... Uh, how he could work his magic and I'm curious you know for anyone watching this that also had the fortune to be coached by Donald or maybe even to row with Donald you know he was he was uh, in the blue boat back in the day he was the heaviest bow ever to, to row in the blue boat against Oxford but but anyway like what memories do you have of, of Donald Donald Leggett and you know, I kind of like to share, I think it's great to share this stuff, you know, not to wait till someone dies and kind of like say it at their funeral, but like just to actually tell, you know, like tell people like what an impact they've made in, in, on you in life. And, you know, that rowing gave me so much confidence to achieve things that, you know, we got, I got some results at the end of it, which, you know, blew my mind because they shouldn't have been possible. It shouldn't have been possible for me to be national champion and, and win at Henley. And, and Donald helped me get there. So, you know, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And, you know, who is it in your life? That is, is there someone in your life that, that you want to you wanna name check? Like, put the name in the comment of somebody in your life. Or just what was it about that person that, that touched you, that changed your life, that... That, that really that really made a difference and if you if you if you have great memories of Donald then share them as well so thanks for watching and uh, I better go get on the plane soon because it will go without me otherwise but um, but yeah really look forward to, to catching up with Donald at some point again soon and uh, yeah it's uh, it's just a real celebration of what makes a good coach you know what what is it about what is it what are those qualities what are those things and and you know for me that the thing I take from it all is sure you know we did some great rowing and we won some stuff but really in terms of how it's impacted me in my life it's like it's way bigger than just rowing you know and I think this is true about great coaches and people that inspire other people the truth of it is that they touch us in ways that are much bigger than just, you know, the thing that they're 
setting out to do and, and I'd like to I like to I want to touch other people I want to I want to <laughs> careful it might sound weird but you know I really want to make an impact to, to, to other on other people and, and so thank you for the inspiration I'm about to go through passport here so I better sign off thanks for watching I will catch you later